are literally shaping the planet. Purpose is the only pathway to a regenerative future. We have a choice to stay with the status quo or to change. What is the point of trying to be just resilient when we can actually innovate? I really appreciate the opportunity to be here to help my mission to find a thousand of you to empower a thousand, to empower a thousand, be happy. Happiness is the greatest virus of all time, spread simply by witnessing it, and it strengthens us emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. It'll actually strengthen your immune system, so it protects us. But no better way to empower other people to take that thousand times a thousand to make a million, a million times a thousand to make a billion. No better way to create a collective consciousness or to create a community than building your brand. And in order to build your brand, you really need to look within, meaning you need to find your own frequency. There's so much talk about organic and authentic and these unique type of people. And what I try to teach people is that there's three things that we need to focus in on in order to understand what is your frequency. And the first thing is the strength of your signal. And the strength of your signal is determined upon how well you know yourself, how Often you're taking inventory of your own values, knowing firsthand your non-negotiables. What are your personal values? And we need to take inventory every day of these values and not balance them, but keep a weighted balance of personal experiential giving and receiving values. And that weighted balance is based upon a fact that you can be a hypocrite, that you can change. And it's so important uh, to know that it's okay to change those values and to stick to them. And when you stick to your values, you will know and your signal will become very strong. And when I say that, you know, most people uh, try to build a brand and they want to please everyone. And they don't work on that authenticity. They don't work on what those non-negotiables are of what makes them them, that personal values, the experiential values, how people do you want them to experience you, the giving values, what value do you want to give to others? And Importantly, what do you want to receive? What values do you want to receive? And all four of these, as I stated, are a weighted balance in order to determine the strength of your signal. And the stronger your signal is, the more people it will resonate with and the stronger you can motivate or be a catalyst to encourage them or stimulate them to share a vision with you or to create a relationship or build a community. When I first started to build a community three and a half years ago, uh, I was hired to help uh, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk with his sports agency and wanted to help them build that sports agency knowing what I know. And I asked Gary for help on my brand and how to build a community in the digital realm. I'd done it for years from running Lee Steinberg Sports and Entertainment, the most notable sports agency, dealing with celebrities, athletes, entertainers, media. And yet here in the digital realm, it was a whole new world. And Gary asked me a funny question. He said, well, how many followers do you want? And I looked at him and I said, well, I want zero followers. And he looked at me, he said, what do you mean? I said, I want two ambassadors. I want a strong enough signal that I can have two ambassadors a year that will then carry through that signal. Instead of selling two people to get them to be followers, I was going to sell through them as ambassadors to carry that strong signal to get two people, to get two people every year. And following that strategy, I was 50 years old. Yes, a middle-aged mutant turtle trying to build a brand on Instagram and LinkedIn and several other mediums of digital platforms. And yet at 70, I'll have 2 million people getting me 2 million more ambassadors every single year. In other words, at 70, I'll be one of the most popular people on this platform. And by focusing strictly on the strength of my signal, my authenticity, the frequency in which I posted that authenticity, I was able to build and carry through on that ambassadorship. Now, the, specific, the specificity of that strong signal is very indicative. Uh, in, if you look at things, it's so funny. You know, I always use this as my classic example of finding your frequency with a strong signal. You know, there's a woman uh, who's the pimple popper. Uh, and she has built her frequency on popping pimples and to think and to know that she has more subscribers on YouTube, more followers and ambassadors than almost anyone I know simply by having a strong signal, understanding her weighted balanced values of personal experiential giving and receiving values of the content or brand that she has created. The next component of 
of finding your frequency and building your brand is the spectrum. And so no matter how strong your signal is, if you're reaching out to the wrong radio stations, stations that don't tune in to that frequency, you could have the strongest signal in the world and yet miss millions, if not billions of people. And so you really want to be able to identify who you're trying to reach, what spectrum you're talking to, and be able to not only speak to that spectrum, but advertise and market to that spectrum because of your statistical success of resonating. In other words, when you put out a certain frequency, you want to know who tunes into those channels. And the stronger the signal, the more channels you can reach, but you still need to know your spectrum. And understanding how the strength of the signal, the spectrum, the last component is the clarity of the message. Uh, And this takes a lot of practice. People think, you know, that it's very obvious that, number one, people understand what you're trying to say. Uh, It's not what you say, it's what you hear. And because of the nature of content and digital nature of perpetuity of content, uh, it can get very frustrating that, number one, that's not what you meant to say. Uh, I just had a video doing very well. I said, money doesn't disappear. And I had a whole bunch of negative comments about you know, how inadequate that statement was. And what I meant to say is that value doesn't disappear. M- money, the, the value doesn't disappear. Uh, something is worth what someone's willing to pay for it at that time. Uh, but the actual dollars don't disappear. Perceived dollars will, but the quantitative value doesn't. And I did not do a great job of branding myself, finding my frequency, and in retrospect, listening to myself, I agreed with the negative comments that I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. Uh, So you have to be very clear on what you say and have to practice what you say uh, so that uh, you you can have a strong signal, know your spectrum, but if you don't have a clear message, you could end up damaging uh, yourself and your brand in a variety of different ways. So if we practice, strengthening our signal, knowing our spectrum, and understanding the clarity of the message, we now have the ability to know our frequency. And that frequency, as I said, don't be afraid of being a hypocrite, it can change. And so we want to learn from all the testing that's done, one of the key components uh, of what uh, the nature of, you know, finding your frequency and building your brand, especially in the social media aspect, is understanding that we can't fathom how many people we have access to. Never before, I mean, you know, every day I have hundreds of thousands of people uh, that are watching one piece of content and millions of people watching over the week. And I think to myself, it wasn't that long ago that I got excited when 500 people were listening to me for a 15 minute TED talk, 500. Now I'm disappointed, I'm like, oh, I only got 42,000 people. That's a freaking stadium. Are you kidding me? Um, And so we really want to understand our frequency and appreciate the size of the audience. You know, if you have today, you know, 4.4 billion people and 4.3 billion people don't know who you are or even worse, don't like you, but 0.1 billion people love you, you'll never have to work again, neither will your children or grandchildren by owning that customer and building that community around your own frequency and building your own brand around it. And there is no better time than now. No better time, no cheaper, less expensive, no bigger opportunity than exists today, today than building. It's not too late. It is not too late to build your brand and find your frequency. Things aggregate and grow, they accelerate. And we have to use, you know, your brand is like a pond. And you can't have, you know, a short-term perspective. One of the biggest problems with entrepreneurs is they quit. The biggest problem with people is they quit. They don't enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of their potential. And the reason they quit is that they don't realize how faulty their senses is or how weak their memories are. They don't, and they do, I'm sorry, they trust what they see, hear, smell, touch, and feel, and they trust their memories. Don't. They're ineffective. And they hurt us if we do because we need to segment things utilizing aggregated growth, acceleration, compound interest. That's how things work, especially your brand. It takes time. And most people quit. 99% of the people quit before they're 25%.
percent of the way there. Another 99% of the 1% quit before they're 50% of the way there. And that leaves the 1% of the 1% to get to where they want to be. And then it keeps on doubling. So for example, for me, if I was looking at building my brand within 20 years and looking at those two people, turn to four, turn to eight, and it would take me 20 years to get to 2 million people getting me 2 million people. The funny thing is, I, if I ask people, when will I be 25% of the way there? Most people would say in five years. If I asked when we'd be halfway there, most people would say in 10 years. But the truth is, you're not 25% of the way there till year 18. All right, I'll be 500,000 people in year 18. Year 19, I'll be a million people getting a million people. In year 20, 2 million getting 2 million. Year 21, 4 million getting 4 million. That's exponential growth acceleration. And what causes us to quit, what causes us not to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of our potential is that most people feel stuck because they're relying on their senses and relying on their memory. And so I'm here to tell you in building your brand and finding your frequency, if you feel stuck, if you don't feel like you're getting the outcome and attaching your emotions to that outcome and you're feeling sad because you're stuck, then I'm here to tell you, get stuck getting stuck. You know, just like my 10 year old's tennis shoes, he came to me the other day and he's like, dad, I need a new pair of cleats. It's like, I just bought you cleats three weeks ago. What do you mean? He goes, they're stuck. I can't get them on. And I'm looking at him going, what are you talking about? I just bought them. You haven't grown up. Yeah, you have. He, just like you, get stuck with your brand. If you're stuck in those shoes, if you're stuck, that means you're accelerating and growing and you're not fitting in what you used to fit into. That's a good sign. Just because your senses and your memory can't pick it up doesn't mean your brand's not growing. Get stuck getting stuck. Be patient and persistent. I know that is a conflictual statement, but if you detach your emotions from the outcome and you stop worrying about how many followers you have and you look at the acceleration growth that you're having in your frequency, your brand, in your community, the exponential growth, it will grow. And if you're lucky, it won't just stay stagnant in time, it'll accelerate in time. So in year one, you might have four people. In 11 months, you might have eight people. In 10 months, you might have 16. In nine months, you might have 32. Instead of years, that time frame is also accelerating. If you stick to the strength of your signal, the spectrum that you're trying to attract, and practice the clarity of your message, you will create that compound interest, the aggregate effect, the acceleration and growth that you need with your brand to build that community. And if you do that, one of the ways is you need to post more. One of the best pieces of advice that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk has always given me is he'll take it. I'll say, hey, can you look at this? What am I doing wrong? What advice do you have? Every single time he'll look at it and give me the same advice first. Now, he'll give me other advice about how to format things and colors and titles and all the genius that Gary Vee has in digital marketing. And he is, to me, my mentor, which everyone should have, finding someone in the situation that you want to be in, specific to what you want. So I always have at least three mentors in my life to make sure that I'm accelerating and growing by not paying the dummy tax and knowing what I want and asking the people that have what I want, can you give me what I want or teach me how to get what I want? And that's what I did with Gary. But he always looks at my thing and the first thing he says is you're not posting enough. And my ego is in my way. I'm like, I'm posting a lot. I'm going to embarrass myself. People are going to annoy by me. Well, I'm here to tell you another thing about building your brand and finding your frequency. If you don't post enough for you or your clients that you're annoying the people that like you and love you, you haven't even hit the bottom of where you should be posting. Until somebody complains about the amount that you're posting, someone that loves you or likes you or hates you or doesn't like you, that's when you're finally at the minimum of what you should post. There's 4.4 billion people out there that could range in your spectrum. Utilize them. And in order to build that brand as well, make sure in that spectrum that you're targeting with what you're saying, people with open minds. One of the general rules of marketing, both traditional and digital marketing, in finding your frequency and building your brand is that it takes as much time, energy, emotion, and money and resources to attract or share a vision with a closed mind that it does a thousand open minds. So I specifically speak in that clear, strong spectrum to people with open minds. So subject lines, topics, titles, captions, all are targeted to people with open minds because I know that it takes 
as much energy to share a vision with a closed mind that it does with a thousand people with an open mind. So I'll go for that exponential statistical success and efficiency that's created. So how do we create this frequency? How do we create the content? How do we post enough? Well, you have to believe in Shakespeare. Shakespeare years and years ago said the whole world is a stage and that's never more true than now. The whole world is a stage and there's four components to take advantage of the stage you're living and acting upon. There's four things that you need to do. Number one, the first strategy you need to have is a capture strategy. You need to learn to capture yourself in the best way you can as much as you can. You need to capture what you're doing every single day, the interesting conversations, the interesting ideas, making sure we have repository of stories, repository of lessons. We need to make sure that we have a cell phone or a camera or a team or something there to capture when we're in critical meetings or experiences, pictures and videos, all types of different quotes, whatever it may be, capture, 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 capture. You cannot capture enough information in order to build that strong signal, understand and take advantage of the spectrum and get a clear enough message. Uh, so for us, we need to make sure that we capture that information. And then once we capture it, we have to modify it. Every medium is not meant for every capture. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, reels, whatever it may be, they all can take the same piece of information and it needs to be modified in order to effectuate the correct spectrum and to resonate through that strong signal with a clear message. So some things, exact same capture, need to be modified. And so you need to have an entire strategy for modification. It also gives you adaptability as more platforms or different platforms may take precedent in your life or business in order to effectuate building that brand or building that community. So not only must you have a strategy every day to capture what you're doing, but you have to have a strategy to modify it as well. The third strategy that you need is to amplify. And amplification is an incredible opportunity because when I was young and building my brand and finding my frequency and running, you know, great sports agencies and marketing agencies and media companies, that this was very difficult to amplify, right? A billboard, a radio commercial, a TV commercial, asking people, you know, what, what was the guerrilla marketing, you know, walking the streets of Manhattan, giving away Grey Goose vodka minis to bars. There's only so many you could get. But now the possibilities and probabilities of amplification are extraordinary. We can't even fathom the size that we can amplify. Most people in general, when I was younger in the traditional marketing and media space, knew four or five people that could help me, right? They had a golf game, a card game, a church group, a men's group, a woman's group, whatever it may be. And they had very little power of amplification, regardless how strong my signal was, regardless if it was Troy Aikman or Steve Young or Warren Moon or Sabathia or Ramirez or Evander Holyfield, regardless of that strong signal, there was only so much reach that they had, so much amplification power that they had. Well, today, on average, everybody can amplify to the thousandths. On average, everybody doesn't have three or four people or close friends on the palm of their hand. If you have a strong enough signal, you know, know your spectrum and reach the open minds and have a clear message and are able to capture and modify correctly, you can amplify with every individual to the thousands because most people have about a thousand people in their network. Never before have we had this extraordinary power to create an audience of such size, scope, and scale. Never before can we even fathom what 4.4 billion people in front of our little sign meant. No matter who you are, that is the realm and the possibilities that you live in. And we need to start utilizing that in a quantitative manner in order to effectuate what we want by making sure that we are capturing enough of this content, that we are modifying it correctly and amplifying in the correct places to maximize the amount of people that it resonates with, that tunes in to this frequency. And if we capture, amplify, modify, and amplify correctly, the last strategy to utilize is perpetuation. Most people don't realize how important it is and how valuable it can be 
that content is perpetual. I see each of the different platforms that I use as a repository. And that just because something may not uh, have an audience today doesn't mean that it won't have a value or a purpose 20 years from now because it doesn't leave. When I first did my first TED Talk, I think uh, I was one of the top viewed TED Talks that I did and there was 500 views that first day. And I was so disappointed, so disappointed. But it had a great frequency, it had a strong signal. I knew my spectrum, it was trying to reach open minds about possibilities, probability and perspective, about manifesting what you want in your life rapidly and accurately. And it's so funny, as the audience build and the frequency gained strength, and the message became clearer. That first TED Talk that I did that sits on YouTube has more views than anything I've ever done. And yet at the time, I was disappointed. I forgot about the perpetual nature of content that you cannot post enough and often enough and that everything exists in a legacy. It exists in infinity. In fact, I am here in this realm of marketing, advertising, media, frequency building, community building, brand building, Understanding that I am just here for an instant myself in between limitlessness and infinity. And the content that I create, the brand that I have created sits here for an instant in between infinity and limitlessness. But that perpetual nature of what I have captured and hopefully modified correctly or remodified, you know, some of the older things that I've captured, I've repurposed into reels and TikTok that didn't exist when I first captured it and utilizing the mechanisms to understand how it works. One of the key components of the perpetuation is also still testing. I think so many people forget the perpetual nature. They're so busy creating more and more and more and more new content, which is fine because I'm just capturing what I'm doing every day and created an overlap utilizing Shakespeare's famous statement, the whole world is my stage and so is my life. And I'm very careful in what I post and where I post it, how I post it, modify it, amplify it, et cetera. But with the perpetual nature of content, it allows me to repurpose and re-engineer and to search it. That content, you know, we want to make sure that quantifiably that we can go back and find things that we say to make even more interesting content. It gives people the ability to study history and you can be their history. Why is that so importantly important? Well, because the one thing about history that I love, the one thing about history and why I study it is to learn human nature and allow yourself to illuminate your humility by doing so. And through this process of having a strong signal, finding your spectrum with open mindedness, and of course, clarifying the message and posting as much as you can by capturing all that you do on a stage, modifying it correctly to all the different platforms, past, present, and future, amplifying the best you can with the best ways and channel partners and friends and family and whoever else by an ask and attract strategy of asking, do you know anybody that can help me? and utilizing the perpetual nature of content by purposing and repurposing continually, knowing that years and years can go by and that something may not be popular today, but maybe tomorrow or the next day. You never know what is said and how pertinent or relevant or viral it can become years and years later. But in order to do so, we need to effectuate five different daily practices. And these five daily practices will help you with all the frequency finding and building of brands that I went through. Number one, when you build that content, in order to do all this, we talked about taking inventory of our values, personal, experiential, giving and receiving, making sure we do that every day and not being afraid of being a hypocrite, not trying to please everybody knowing our own frequency, our own authenticity, the organic nature of our own quantum beings, of being ourselves and having a weighted balance of personal experiential giving and receiving values. Two, we need to ask. We need to ask people how we can be of value or service to them via the content that we create, the brand that we create. And we need to, more importantly, utilize our brand and our frequency to ask, do you know anybody that can help us? Use that amplification of the thousands of people that people know in order to help us. The third one 
is we need to be a student of our brand. When I say be a student of our brand, what I mean is we need to pay attention to what we're doing and what surrounds us and what surrounds what surrounds us, and we need to give intention to it. We intention is what we think, say, do, believe, and also understanding the quantum nature of what it is, the historical perspective of human nature, as well as our own internal personal beliefs, our quantum nature, our DNA, that may have been handed down ancestrally from great-grandparents, grandparents, and parents to us, or it may just be relevant in our personality traits, characteristics, obsessions, and addictions that allow us to, what, have a unique frequency, a unique quantum footprint or fingerprint in what we do. Everybody is an expression of genius. Everybody is expression of source, light, love, and lessons. And we need to liberate that light to other people. That's what will resonate with them. That's what will cause that brand to accelerate, grow, and compound in its interest. And if we study it, we can take advantage of the formula of luck. What we pay attention to, plus what we give intention to, equals the coincidences that we want in our life. And those coincidences are what people call luck. The fourth thing that we have to remember is do it now. I hate statistics, I always said people, 99% of all statistics are made up. The only statistic I know to be true is 100% of all short putts don't go in. Uh, I have one more for you, and it's applicable to building your brand and finding your frequency. And it's applicable, especially in capturing content and amplifying and perpetuating and posting as much as you can until you annoy people that you love and people that don't love you. It doesn't matter, but you need to do things now. 100% of the things that you capture now will be there for you to utilize, to modify, to amplify and perpetuate. 100% of them. You will never forget. You'll never look back and say, oh, I should have got that. I wish I had that. What did I say? 100% of the things that you capture now will be available to you to strengthen that signal, utilize the spectrum, and clarify your message. And then finally, we have to understand the currencies that are utilized for a brand. The first currency is money, the object of energy that you put into the universe or to the flow in order to attract what you want. But more importantly than what surrounds us is what surrounds what surrounds us, that we have to understand emotion. Number one, we want to be credible. We want to be credible. If you're 100% credible, people will resonate with you. They will do what you ask them to do. But more importantly, you want to connect emotionally with that energy of both either money a quantitative value of what value you can provide or faith or spirituality or inspiration or motivation or blend there within. But if you can connect emotionally, people buy on emotion for logical reasons. And if you're hundred percent or pursue how credible you can be and to connect emotionally, quite easily you can share a vision. You can quantify the reasons that someone should listen to you, watch you, buy what you want to buy or join what you want to join. You can show the impact quantitatively of what it would have in their lives, what significant change it would have and value you would provide. And most importantly, especially today in the compressed times of uncertainty and accelerated change, you can illustrate and quantify the capability that you have to be of service or value to others, which will allow you also to attract them to ask for help if they know anyone that can help you. And if you can do these five things, take inventory of your values, ask and attract, be a student of that capture, doing it now, making sure that you don't miss things or not take advantage of opportunities in your daily course of life and business. And most importantly, utilize that practice of credibility, emotional attachment, quantifying the reasons, impacts, and capabilities. You will be able to find that frequency, strengthen that signal, know your spectrum, and have a clear, clear message by capturing, modifying, amplifying, and perpetuating it. You will be able to build a community through aggregation, acceleration, and compound interest interest and be able to effectuate a community. And for me, it's building a community to empower others, to empower others to be happy. I do a free training every Friday. I'm reachable. If you want any free books, exercises, or guides, that's just david at dmeltzer.com. It's how I utilize the amplification of my frequency to find a thousand of you, to empower a thousand other people, to power empower another thousand, thousand times a thousand, a million, a million times a thousand, a billion, just simply to be happy. So find your frequency, build your brand, and most importantly, be happy. Thank you so much for having me.
David, thanks so much for that talk. Always great to hear from you. Uh, always a great, great message and, and always look forward to hearing your, your, you speak. Thank you guys. Appreciate you.